Hi, I'm Mike Lee with Team Horizon and this is a Team Tech Tip. In this Tech Tip video, we're going to show you how to slow down the movement of your servos for a special effect that you need for your aircraft. Most of us were truly concerned with the speed of our servos not so long ago as we wanted fast servos to get a little bit better feel for the response of the aircraft in the air. And the manufacturers responded by making fantastically fast servos. But you don't need a fast servo in every application. There are applications where you want it to go slow, such as for flaps, maybe a retracting landing gear, maybe a canopy that moves back and forth on the aircraft. Whatever the need may be, you need to slow down the servo so it's more realistic and not slam slam. If you can imagine mechanical landing gear that are servo operated slamming up in a quarter of a second, that's how fast the standard servo goes. And it's not very good on the mechanics as it slams up and down. Usually they slam themselves out of the mounts. So we want to slow it down to make it look more realistic and more appealing to watch. The transmitter we're using is the Spectrum DX9 transmitter. With the radio turned on, you press the scroll switch once to get into the function menu. From there, scroll down to the servo setup and to press the scroll switch once. Scroll is the command function. In this case, it's set, starting at, at travel. To press the scroll switch once and now go to speed right there. To press the scroll switch once, you may now go to the servo that you wish to control, in this case, auxiliary channel one. Notice there are two positions at each servo. This is for the up and down position or left and right position. Here we have auxiliary switch one. We're going to change the up position to three seconds. It goes in one tenth of a second if you wish. Makes it pretty precise. Then we're going to go down to the lower condition and set that for one second just to show you the difference. That's it. Now we just hit the back button, go to the main screen, and the servo speed should now be set. Let's go on over to our simulator and see how it works. This is our servo simulator and we're going to show you how that speed adjustment works for us. Here's the aileron and here is the flap. Notice it went down nice and slow, but came up faster and that's exactly what we set on the speed setting. It went down slower because we programmed it that way and it comes up faster. That's it. You set your speed the way you want it and there you go. The ability to adjust the speed of your servo is only one of the many ways you can enhance your model's features and functionalities. This is especially true for scale models where you might have lights, flaps, moving canopy, sequencing landing doors, and more. I hope that this Team Tech Tip has helped you to take advantage of your radio system and add it to your enjoyment for the hobby. For Team Horizon, I'm Mike Lee, and you just got a Team Tech Tip. Thanks a lot.